Today we're going to be doing this 2008 GMC Canyon, doing a new radio, taking out the stock head unit and going to an aftermarket Sony XAVAX 5000. starting with it's the factory mp3 wma unit the little bit nicer unit than the uh, basic plain jane unit that they come out with gm but we're going to be taking this out and changing this over to a sony double den touch screen these are the parts that we're going to be using the 95 2001 that's the dash kit this is going to be your normal you know 80 gm1 any gm antenna adapter we're going to be using this harness, which is a 72003, and then we're going to be doing the XAV5000, which is what we usually use. This harness, usually we would use like a GMOS1 or a GMRC01. Nobody has them in stock right now, so I'm going to have to run the retained accessory in this one, but makes it a little bit tougher on the installation, but that's all they have in stock right now, so it's kind of limiting me on what you can do, but that's pretty much the parts we're going to be using. First step we're going to do is we're going to take a plastic pry tool and put down into here and then we're going to pull this fascia off basically that's what you're going to do to snap this off is just use your plastic pry tool and go around and then pop it off so basically once you get that plastic pry tool in there and get it out this whole piece is going to come right out now this is the plug that you're going to unplug and then you're also going to have a plug right here so you're going to have these two plugs right here these are the two harnesses that you're going to go ahead and unplug as well so basically these are the two harnesses that you unplug from this actual dash piece, this is the back part. Now you're going to want to take these screws out, you've got one on this side, and then one here, and one here. Basically three total, and you're going to want to take these seven millimeters out. You have two plugs on the back, basically one and two, and then your antenna. These are your two plugs right here, and then here's your antenna right here. So those are everything you're going to unplug to remove the radio. Since we do not have the ignition wire, we pulled the straight ignition out of this, went to the white with the red, T-tapped that. It is located right back here on the ignition. We just pulled this shroud down. Um, this is basically the shroud, and we used a T20 Torx to take out the three Torx that were in the bottom of this one, two, three. We removed that, pulled this green plug out of here, which is the ignition switch, and the white with the red is where we're gonna run for our accessory or ignition on the harness. All right, here's how you mount the kit. Basically, you have your left and your right, and you can always know the right with having the two smaller holes. Mounting your two Phillips on this part, and then you go over here to your left side, which has your bigger part, and you're going to put your two Phillips in here. So it looks super flush and clean and nice, and that way it'll bolt right in like stock does. We went ahead and put two flush mount USBs on the bottom here. We basically drilled our holes and put them in there. We actually put some uh, epoxy on the back of them so they don't actually move around. We just basically used our unibit, drilled them in, put them in. That way he can actually just plug in his phone to there, uh, make it look super clean versus just having wires hang down. We, we don't like that at all. So looks really clean and OEM. We've plugged in all of our harnesses and basically this is going to wire up just like normal. Yellow to yellow, black to black, white to white, white with black to white with black. Um, basically red is the only one you're going to run to the ignition like I showed you before. That's the only wire that is not actually in this harness. So we have to run that to the ignition. Now on the Sony's you're going to take the, the light grain and ground it because that is for the parking brake. But that's pretty much it. So we're going to start you know, mounting this radio and putting all of our USBs and everything in there. 
We've got everything mounted back in here. Sorry about all the dust. We've got our two seven mils on this side, seven mil on this side. We've got both of our USBs coming down here so that we can plug them into those USBs over there. So we'll show you what it looks like all put back together. Here's what it looks like installed. Looks really nice. We did our dual USBs under here. He still got his cigarette lighters or you know charging ports down there and his Bluetooth mic we put down here so that way it would be kind of out of the way. Looks really nice. Turn this down right here. Um, the sound of it is almost like 40 to 50 percent clearer, better, more dynamic range just from changing out the head unit. There could have been something wrong with the factory head unit, but this thing sounds absolutely amazing now with just changing out the radio itself. Like not even anything else. I haven't even changed the speakers or anything, but the radio sounds absolutely amazing now. Looks really good.